Hey guys, now I wanted to show you what I have been doing. Now, my father gave me an old Samsung 40 inch TV, um, which was, it was working, but it had some problems. Um, and the problems really uh, came down to the, the IR sensor module, which also had a, um, a switch, a toggle switch that had five contacts on it or five switches built in now that mechanical switch was actually damaged um so what i was doing was i was tracing through the wiring and seeing how that's all configured but also i i bought an ir remote but i was curious why is it not working and uh, of course i checked the remote and you know you can shine the cam put the camera on it and you can see the ir light flickering so i knew the remote was working I thought, oh, what's going on? Maybe the problem is in the sensor module. So I was doing some point-to-point -point, um, checks with my multimeter. And I noticed that the um, connection for the IR output of the sensor, which is actually located in there, I can point with my pen, just in there, and next to it is the LED power power light. So the IR sensor has three connections, ground, and in this case, 3.3 volts, and the IR signal, which is a digital ones and zero signal. And when I was measuring from, it's, it has a little uh, output resistor um, to the, between the output of the sensor and to the, um, the header, the male header on the board. And I noticed that I wasn't, there was no beep. So I was using the continuity test on the multimeter. And I thought, oh, that's very intriguing. How, how is that possible? And then I noticed on the back track, I don't know if you can see this, but the, the track for the IR sensor is actually on the bottom here. And it's actually green. Now, green is the color you get when copper um, corrodes. So what's happened here is somehow this track has corroded. It's been exposed. Um, so the tracks usually have a coating that protects them from the atmosphere. And um, I think this TV used to be located in a doctor's clinic near the beach. So you've got salty air as well coming in through there. But that track has open circuited. So I intend to repair that very carefully. And um, then hopefully I'll have my sensor working again, which is tremendously exciting. Uh, the other modification I was looking at doing was, now that I know what the pinouts are on this mechanical switch, actually wiring in a new mechanical switch of my own design that would come out to the back. So I will make my own mechanical switch that will, uh, electromechanical switch that will attach to that. So that will be a mod that I plan on doing. But that way I breathe life back into that TV and make it functional again. So I thought that was very interesting. So it's worth checking out these old TVs and just doing the circuit tracing to see what's going on with them, if there is any issues.